How's it going guys? Winter Kills here and welcome back to a brand new Locals feature match. Uh, here we are in round two for the week and uh, we've got Dragon Link on the left featuring the hero package versus Invoked Trickstar Dragoon aka Dragoon Turbo on the right. And uh, as these guys get ready to start the match, let's take a look at the poll results. I asked you guys who you thought would win this particular round. And about uh, 350 plus votes, 69%, nice, going to the Dragon Link deck with the remainder going to Invoke Dragoon Trickstar. Um, so let's see if you guys are correct. And I'm actually curious to see if the poll from yesterday, the poll from yesterday is now at 51% in favor of Trilurlusk. That was a crazy 50-50 poll. Glad to see that not repeat itself here. Uh, for round two, but uh, Dragon Link winning die roll and going first here. Uh, probably pretty happy about that. Normal summoning the Rocket Synchron and going into the Striker Dragon. Not the best normal summon for the uh, Dragon Link deck here, but a good enough normal summon. Um, you know, pretty much any flavor of a couple dragons uh, will do the job most of the time. Maybe not here. I don't know. He does have what looks to be a Imperm in hand, Fusion Destiny, and one other card. He is going to commit the uh, the boot sector to the field to get the Synchron on board to be able to link into Seals. And then following that up with Fusion Destiny. And he's going to go ahead and dump the bricks to go ahead and summon out the Enforcer, Dasher, and Celestial. And uh, our uh, Dragon Link player here is certainly balling with some of these high rarity cards. I, uh, I'm looking forward to see if he'll be getting the uh, ulti Fusion Destinies and... Uh, gotta upgrade that common digi dasher to an ulti first you just have to um but we'll see him end on seals enforcer with valor and imperm in hand um so four interruptions here off of a pretty mediocre opening not getting access to chaos ruler not really doing too much dragon linking if you will just establishing the seals which is you know good enough it's an interruption plus fantastic follow-up um so you might not need much else past that we're gonna see our Invoke the Dragoon player lead within the uh, Magical Meltdown to grab the one and only Alistair. And then we're going to see him play Light Stage, the one of, over top that for a copy of Corbane. And uh, basically the gimmick of this particular deck, at least from what I've understand and, you know, I've played against in the past, is to just turbo out Dragoon and Mechaba any way that you possibly can. So we're going to see him activate a Cross Out Designator on Effect Valor, and he does have the copy in deck to go ahead and banish. Good thing he's negating that ugly Platinum Rare. Um, that's that's just justice, in my opinion. <laughs> so we're going to see him add the Invocation. And we're going to see him go ahead and link off the Alistair for a copy of Majesty Maiden. Or, or Majestus Maiden. I, I can't remember its exact name. Um, but we're going to go ahead and see him activate Invocation here. And we'll see if our uh, Dragon Link player has a response here. Uh, his opponent does have light targets in the grave. Unfortunately, Celestial is not a light. Because that would be a fantastic card to get rid of right now for Mechaba. Because in the crackback, there's a pot of greed. That's not something you want to give Dragon Link. Um, so he will go ahead and actually fuse out a Mechaba here. Uh, and then we're going to see it get bounced back with seals. He will chain the Mechaba, discarding the other Alistair he had in his hand here. And that seal should be banished. Um, and the, yeah, okay, seal, so they're remembering to banish the seals here, that's good. Um, and the enforcer will resolve, and uh, I assume declaring the graveyard effect here. Important to declare your graveyard effect. And yeah, two monsters still left on the board at the end of the day, so that will lead to Anaconda. Now, there was a cut in the video here, because our Dragon Link player tried to imperm the Anaconda, even though he had Boot Sector on field, so they're just correcting the game state. Uh, the Invoke Trickstar player was able to swing in for 35, dropping his opponent down to 45. Passes turn, draws the Ravine for turn, Enforcer comes back in standby phase, everything is fixed. Um, for those that are going to be confused by that, you should have just listened to what I said. It's not that long of a video anyways. Um, but yeah, so game state repaired. Yeah, he, I think he just forgot that he had a field, uh, field spell on his board uh, and could not imperm there. Um, so yeah, game state repaired. And we're going to see him use Boot Sector here to bring out that Rocket Synchron that's been chilling in the grave. We're going to see him replace the... Uh, the boot sector with a copy of Dragon's Ravine. And we'll see what he's going to be able to do from here. Um, he's going to probably have to pitch the Imperm in hand to go ahead and have an extension play here. 
Um, but we're going to see the Dragoon actually get burned on the Ravine, which is fair enough. But, I mean, now his opponent can go ahead and draw two now thanks to Celestial because fair and balanced. And he's going to draw into Droplet and Quick Launch. We're going to see him activate Quick Launch as Chainlink 1, Chainlink 2, Forbidden Droplet. Going to negate and have the original attack, I believe, of the Dragoon. So it's either at 2,000 or 15. I'm not sure how this uh, would actually, uh, you know, resolve here. We're going to see him summon out the Gold Rare Rocket Tracer. And he's going to go ahead and activate Rocket Tracer here to go ahead and pop the Synchron. Probably go summon out the Recharger. And then we're going to see Chaos Ruler here. I mean, this should be a pretty easy OTK, depending on what he gets off this Chaos Ruler. Um, I don't know if negating Ravine was necessarily correct, um, but, you know, I, I, like at the end of the day, like he's getting Ravine, and he's probably also still resolving Celestial. Because um, I mean, after he discards Rakos off of the Ravine, he still has no cards in hand uh, to be able to fire off the uh, the Celestial. I mean, he gets the dump, and then he's probably going to dump Absorider, which gets him another card. Um, so I don't know. I don't, I don't think negating that was the right call, but, you know, it is what it is. It's already been done. We're going to see him link into IP Mascarena to get that uh, White Dragon engraved to go ahead and search black. We're going to see him banish black now to go ahead and summon, or uh, banish white to go ahead and summon black. Activate Chaos Space to go ahead and put the white to the bottom. Draw a card, draws into Red MD. What an insane draw, and that's probably going to signal the end of the game here. Because um, I think, like, you just you just need Boral Sword, which he has right now. Um, he's going to go ahead and banish a light and a dark to summon back the chaos ruler and you literally could just link into boral sword um or, or you could also do th this works also just as well and yeah our invoked uh trickstar player has seen enough here and we're gonna quickly move into a game two that celestial completely changed the tide of the game and that's why i hate the card you could be completely down in card advantage and then it just literally catapults you back into the game um, but yeah, in game two here, I want to mention a quick shout out to Imperium Duelist. If you guys are buying anything on their site, please don't forget to use my discount code WINNERKILL10 off at checkout to save 10% off your entire order. And if you guys are shopping on TCG Player, please do not forget to use my affiliate link found in the description below of all my videos. If you guys shop and check out using that link, a small bit of the revenue from your purchase will go right back in the channel and helps out a ton. Uh, so we're going to see a, um, a light stage. It adds the core bane, uh, and then he get drolled on resolution. Uh, which is basically going to force his opponent to default into the best play I think his deck has outside of normal summon Alistair. And uh, that is going to be go for Anaconda. And this time he can legally stop at this time with an effect veiler. Uh, as he's got that red eyes black dragon in hand. And uh, this is one of those moments where you'd be, you know, totally in the right to go ahead and say something like, nice deck, lol. <laughs> That's, I, I don't know, like, it might be a little harsh on the, the, the BM sides of things, but, like, nice deck. <laughs> but we're going to see Chaos Space get activated, Pitching Tracer, that will be met with Ash Blossom. And, I mean, when you're as down bad as this, like, I feel like if you have one Ash, throwing one Ash at a Dragon Link player is probably not going to be enough unless they open up absolutely horrendous. And stopping a card like Chaos Space is pretty good, puts them on having a really strong normal. In this case, he did have the safer. And uh, we're just seeing the repercussions of that here going into uh, Striker Dragon with Black. And um, yeah, this is going to net him a ton of advantage getting Boot Sector White, summoning out White by banishing Black, Chaos Space. Yes, it was negated by Ash, but of course it still gets to be put into the graveyard to be a draw one, draws into, I think, a Synchron. Um, and we know he has Boot in hand as well, so getting access to Synchron is pretty nice. Also has Fusion Destiny in hand as a backup too. Um, and I wouldn't be shocked if we saw some sort of an OTK at this point. We're going to see him link into Romulus, uh, Chainlink 1, or Chainlink 1 Romulus, I imagine. And then Chainlink 2, uh, White Dragon. Um, so we're going to see him add the black and add the ravine. Free discard fodder for ravine here, pitching black. Probably going to go dump Abza Router. An Abza Router effect, go ahead and search out Tracer. Just standard uh, Dragon Link uh, shenanigans here. It is very unfortunate for our <laughs> Invoke Trickstar Dragoon player. Uh, he has done pretty well in the past with the deck, just because, like, it's that Unga Bunga type deck that, um, if you're not respecting it, it will beat you, and it will beat you pretty fast. Um, but uh, Imperm Valor, very popular cards to main deck this format, 
and uh, proven to be very, very effective against a rogue strategy like this. Um, so we're going to see him, you know, spec out two with the boot sector and use tracer effect to go ahead and destroy boot to go ahead and summon one out from the deck. It's going to be recharger. We'll see chaos ruler here and all our invoked player has at this point is a Alistair in hand and a uh, and a copy of red eyes black dragon. Now, I like playing around droll is one thing. Um, you could have definitely started with Alistair. Normal Alistair would get invocation, you get drolled there, sure, that's fine, link into Maiden, but you at least still establish a Mechaba, and then from there maybe you could keep playing, but like I feel like it's just the nature of the Trickstar engine that's going to force him to play right into Droll, because I think you need to spec Korobane while you have no monsters or all Trickstars, and that would force the normal, but yeah, that's going to signal the end of the game there, the summon a Borderload Savage Dragon, and it looks like the Trickstar deck losing 2-0 here, and you guys were correct this time around. If you guys want to see more of my content, click on one of the videos popping up on the bottom of the screen right now. And as always, I want to give a quick shout out to our Divine Level channel members, and they are Cadillacs84, Pony Stark, Keith Sidgers, uh, Tweeter0226, and Black Ninja Money. Thank you guys so much as always for your extremely generous support.